Finally got a motor spinning, servo motor. Only took all day. There's the feedback on this screen. And on this screen is Linux NC running the point and click config and just moving one of the axes back and forth. And here's here's what it looks like. The uh, the Windows machine is using this one here. This is a, a micro USB, but it's not. It's RS two thirty two. Yeah, RS two thirty two, and that has to go into a, a USB to serial little board that I've had for like probably twenty years, and made an RS two thirty two cable out of it. I tried to do it in a, with a FTDI chip, but that didn't work. So, yeah. Um, this is just the minimal pins getting this working. There's 50 pins. It's a SCSI interface, 50 pin SCSI. And it's hell to solder, so I think I might look at getting a breakout board or. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll get some SCSI cables and uh, chop them up. That way at least they're not, they don't look like crap like this. Like there is a housing that goes over top of it, but, you know, trying to, trying to debug things, that's not really going to work. But yeah, it spins and uh, it's in the high speed mode and uh, yeah. Now I gotta figure out what all this shit means.